Hi guys, it's Kay Jones coming at you with another video. It has been a little bit of a while, um, and I know I'm probably going to get a lot of negative comments with this video, but that's okay. I don't really care since, you know, this is my channel and this is where it's fun to come on here and talk about things and also share my hobbies and everything like that, hobbies and whatnot. So um, <clears throat> I just wanted to kind of talk about today how Roe versus Wade was overturned and it was kind of a big day because for a lot of reasons it doesn't really matter what side that you support you know there's just going to be some major changes in America because <clears throat> so Roe versus Wade gave basically the constitutional right to protect certain uh, aspects such as abortion and it said to as a broad federal term that, hey, this is a constitutional right, so it needs to be provided to a certain extent to all states. And so it didn't wouldn't allow for any state to make abortion outright illegal. Um, and in this case, overturning Roe versus Wade allows states to kind of have their own choices in this regard, as in they can make abortion illegal. Um, and a lot of people support that. They think that that's wonderful that we give power to the states um, and less the federal government, but like also the other perspective is, <clears throat> you know, I'm totally down with, you know, states having, uh, their own kind of choices when it comes to funding. Like, I don't believe a state should have to pay for abortion. That's ridiculous. Um, you know, states, healthcare, paying for education, property taxes, income taxes. I think states should absolutely have that option to control that. I'm just a little bit concerned when it comes to civil liberties and rights. And a lot of people think, well, abortion is not a right, you know? Well, I guess it kind of depends. If you're super religious, it may seem like that's completely not acceptable, you know? But for some people who aren't religious and they don't have the mental capacity to have a child or the financial means to have a child or god knows their life situation we don't really know what someone goes through you know and with roe versus raid wade overturned you have alabama arkansas tennessee missouri uh, louisiana just uh tennessee ton of states that now are within this 30 day time period are going to basically have abortion outlawed unless it's to save like a woman's body or a medical reason um, and some people are really excited about that. And other people just think that that's crazy that that choice is being given from, taken away from a woman. And I think most people that after a certain time in the pregnancy or trimester, that it's not acceptable to have an abortion. And as science improves, that's even going to get more controversial because like science now we're having babies being able to survive outside the wound womb excuse me not wound womb very early on and as science progresses we're gonna that's going to become um, better and more accessible so by three months maybe we'll have babies being able to be um you know taking care of outside the womb by science and then the 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 topic comes very controversial um, so that's a fascinating thing, but I, I do think that I live in Texas, um, and I love my state. Um, I've lived here since I was very young. I'm getting my education here and I don't want to leave, you know, I, I want to stay, but, um, it stinks to know that it's very plausible in the future that I won't be able to have that right as a woman, whether you disagree with it or not it's kind of our own choices to make with our body and we don't really know anyone's situation what if they're in an abusive marriage or what if they're in an abusive relationship or what if they just don't have the mental capacity to have a child a child's a lot of work and unfortunately i think right now it's around 41 percent of fathers are not involved in a child's life now don't quote me on that statistic because I think that includes abusive fathers. So fathers that are in a child's life, but they're not good. They're taking drugs, they're abusive physically, emotionally, or, you know, they just financially aren't there. It, that statistic may encompass a lot more than what I'm saying, but that's a shame. And so that puts a lot more responsibility on women to take care of a child financially and emotionally. 
So babies are full-time work, 365 days a year plus leap a year. Um, and it's not something I can fully comprehend because I don't have a child, um, but I do have a little brother. And both my father and my stepmother are constantly working with him. <laughs> so my dad was gone for two days and my, and he's retired by the way. And my stepmom was exhausted and she needed help. And by the time he was home, she's like, please take care of the baby. So we need to understand that babies are a ton of work. If you raise them properly, children are a blessing to our future. And a lot of people, I would much personally, y'all can completely disagree. I don't care. You, you do you, bae. But I don't think a person should be having a child if they financially cannot take care of that child emotionally, if they're drug addicts, like there are a lot of really bad parents and guys, this is our future. So it's just something to take in consideration. So now for these states that are, you know, outlawing abortion unless it's for a medical emergency or needed, you know, I hope that they make the more orphanages and they make more foster homes available. Right now we have a huge issue in our country where there are tons of um, kids that need to be adopted. And there are also a bunch of um, kids that come from very abusive homes and are in child care protection services or in foster care. And they need homes. And that's already a huge issue in our country. And now a lot of people can't afford to go out of state to get an abortion. So I kind of did the math. Like, what does an abortion cost on average? And so if you get it in the early first trimester, it's about $750. If it's after the first trimester, it can get up to like $1,500, $2,000. So if you have to go out of state to do that, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong, that's your opinion. It's $750 for the abortion itself if it's in the first trimester. So we'll just go with the lowest number. To get a hotel room for two nights, let's say it's $100 a night, unless you wanna stay at a place that's like $50 a night, that's fine. I personally would be paying more on the $100 side because I want to be in a nice uh, place. Um, so I'm going to say $200 a night. It's not too expensive of a hotel, but it's not dirt cheap either. Uh, so let's say that's $200. And then when you're out, you have to also pay for food, right? So, um, you know, that's at least $50 a day because you're having to buy breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right? and you know maybe a rental car so let's just say fifty dollars a day and that's on the cheap side uh so there's another hundred dollars and then the flights right now are like four hundred to five hundred dollars depending on which state you go to now some people are like you can drive to the next state for some people but yeah i'm saying for the average person um so that's about a fifteen hundred dollar trip guys i would say most middle class people that's a lot of money most people don't save money they just spend their paycheck as it comes and i don't agree with that but that's america for you most of us are in debt and this is coming from someone who is debt free but knows the majority of society um so you know it just that's how it is and that's a lot of money for people um not to mention that they have full-time jobs and things like that so you know i hope that they we make those states fund orphanages uh, and have more accessibility to taking children and foster care and just a lot. I mean, that's going to cost money. And I don't think I don't think that the federal government should be responsible to pay for that if they overturn Roe versus Wade and give states that right. And the states need to pay for the orphanages, the foster care, the children's health care, things like that, um, that don't have suitable homes. Um, not to mention we have a huge drug problem in the United States and people are still going to have sex when they probably shouldn't be. And it's unfortunate. There are a lot of really dumb people. Um, now, I'm not on the extreme. I think that it is beautiful for states to have um, a rights, you know, and uh, especially when it comes to financial things like that and even healthcare and education and whatnot. I just think that we need to be careful when it comes to civil liberties. And as a woman, I do feel like this is a big step back. Um, now, for people who are very religious, and this may be seen like just, uh, they cannot understand why anyone would ever get an abortion. Well, you have to look at the majority of society. 
and you have to, you don't know anything about that person's life. Nothing about it. You don't know anything that they're going through. You don't even know their mental stability. And healthcare, for mental health, that has to go through your insurance. And a lot of people don't have that ability. We just have a big issue in this country with a lot of things. And our, eh, it's just a mess. And it's definitely a balance. And um, a lot of people are very happy. But what I'm noticing is like really the older generation that's super religious. And there's nothing wrong with being religious. That's your right. But let's understand that we can't force other people to have certain beliefs. And I can't say when abortion should be illegal or what months or how late in the trimester and things or what trimester like when is it too late right I think that's something we need to have a bunch of doctors talk about that um I would definitely say anything five months and over is ridiculous you know I think that's a bit far but at the same time that's not for me to say I'm just a simple girl trying to make my way through the universe right hope you all like my Tatooine backdrop and the Star Wars quote by the way the Kenobi show was awesome um so yeah, I wanted to talk about this on my channel because I think these things are important and no, my opinion is not going to change the world <laughs> it's not going to do much, but it's kind of like a nice place to rant and um, also get other people's opinions. I hope people are nice in the comments, but of course that's not going to happen. I'm really used to it at this point. <laughs> it's like anytime I post a YouTube video, it's just hate and that's fine. Um, so, but yeah. I, I just think that this is a really important thing for us to have discussions about. I encourage everyone to go out and vote no matter what your opinion is. And if you're in a red state or blue state and you're the opposite opinion, don't think you're not going to make a difference. You won't, but you still got to go out there and vote because that's the, the right you have. And I think it's very important because if other people think the same as you, you never know what can happen in your state. Things could change. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that, I think the Supreme Court made a, um, a, not a good decision. It is separating our country more than ever before. Um, it is distracting us from bigger issues in the world. Um, and it is dividing up our country more and more by state. And um, we're just fighting each other now. And I think that's a shame. It's been there since the 1970s, Roe versus Wade, might as well just freaking leave it. But that is not the case, and now we're in this mess. But for people who are happy, I'm glad. I just hope that, you know, we just stay open-minded and understand different people's perspectives. Um, and even if you disagree with someone, we can still treat other people the way we want to be treated. So, yeah, thanks for listening to this video, even though you probably don't care much for it. <laughs> But it is a fascinating topic and important for our country if you are American. And if you're from outside America, what's your opinion? Like, or are you kind of like, what in the world? Or are you kind of like, oh, that's good. I'm fascinated to hear. But uh, thanks, guys. And may the force be with you always.